you know, when you think about those things that you would want to run for for, for uh, uh, statewide, there was no doubt in my mind it would be Secretary of State. It is the be all and end all. It is what is important. It's the bedrock of our democracy. It is about making sure that we've got safe and trustworthy elections in Ohio. Uh, there are set some moves afoot to, for a compromise measure. Um, you know, I can't not be in support of compromise, but I would like to see us move toward getting politics out of the apportionment board. If we make this prescriptive within the, within the Constitution, if we take these measures that are going to actually balance our state out and put it in the Constitution, and, and, and it, then we have an opportunity to make that apportionment board more of an administrative post, not the kind that is uh, you know, all about backroom deals which is what it's been for uh, quite a long time now. So we have an opportunity to change it, and I intend to take, continue that conversation with the people of Ohio about how we can make this better. When, when we talk about civics education in high school, I talk to teachers who tell me that we have a dwindling interest and uh, emphasis on civics education. I know when I went to high school, we had problems of democracy, and, and uh, the nuns made sure I, I, I learned it well. Uh, I believe that we need to add a portion to that civics education that focuses on, on voting, the importance of voting, about how people have fought and died for our right to vote here. As long as they're qualified uh, electors and, and they don't opt out, I believe every high school senior should be registered to vote automatically as they graduate. There is a, a continual conversation, and it seems to me from what I can glean in my travels and my talks with people with boards of election, that the, 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 the voting machines are um, very well received, especially in some of the smaller counties. In some of the larger counties where there have been issues in the past, they, seem, they, they tend to like the uh, optical scan method with the paper ballot. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and as you look at that information, it makes you think uh, that maybe, maybe, this is, maybe the machines are just not that well designed for, for the larger vote. Um, I like the idea that we've got a backup plan when we've got machines, and we've got machines in Franklin County, if they break down, uh, you have an opportunity to vote by vote by paper, which means that the lines keep moving. We don't get, really get any big lines, and uh, I think that that's a, that's a smart thing. There's to there's do. certainly there's there's uh, what I hear when I talk to people in these boards of elections. Um, there are concerns about the application of uh, the provisional voting process. There's a, there's a concerns about the voter ID process. We need to take a very good look at that and make sure that we're we're not using those two processes to disenfranchise qualified electors.